Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the computed properties. So this is very much important. So what is the use of these computed properties? Actually, computed properties, why we will be using this? So the template expressions, we have learned about the template concept, right? So the template concept, we can use it, we can add some simple operations in the template. But if you try to keep too much logic in your templates means, then it will become so much of bloated and also very it is very hard to maintain it the because of that reason in order to overcome this the thing we will be using the computed properties so i will try to show you with an example let's try to create a simple component so computed property okay computed component so this is our component and here i will be having a template and here i will be writing new computed property okay and here i will be closing the div or otherwise what i can do is h2 or h3 we can write it and here also i will change it to h3 so this is our computer component let's go to main.js and here i will be adding this computed um oh sorry computed component okay this is our computer component and we can paste it here and we can paste it here and we can paste it here Let's go to the app.view and we can also paste it here so that computer component will be visible to us. We go here and if you try to see here at the bottom, we are able to see the computer property. Now, what I want to show you, I want to show you the basic example. Let's say that in the computer property, first I will try to use the traditional approach that is nothing but options API. Then, of course, you'll see with the composition API. So, here we'll be having an export default. Okay. And in this export default, I'll be having a data. And here in the return, so we will be having employees so employees value so this is an array and here i will be having emp1 comma emp2 so this is a simple employees thing now here i want to show that so here employees whether employees are present so if any one employee is present in an array i need to show that they are present or otherwise not present or yes or no so here i can write employees present so here how can i say how can i say yes or no um employees dot length is there is greater than zero then i want to show yes or otherwise i want to show it as no so now employees two employees are present it's not a problem then we can see it as an s but this time what we are trying to do we are right trying to write the logic in the template instead of writing this logic in the template we can also use computed property so with that computed property whenever this employees variable change automatically the expression or the logic whichever the logic you are writing in the computer property it will be re-executed so how we can implement in the options api so we will be having a computed property in this one we need to write is employees present so we'll be using it like this this is the variable computer property and here i can take this all the things okay and here i can write like this and i can return it that's it so now here i can use this one as a property as a variable like this that's it this is also one and the same only so now if you try to see here let's execute it what happened we're not able to see the output is there any wrong computed we are having is employees present employees okay we need to use this here so this is the problem we need to use this in the options api i hope that is the only thing yeah here we are able to see the output so this is how we'll be implementing in the options api now it's time for us to implement in the composition api so how we can implement the same thing in the composition api let's copy this array so that it will be useful for us to redeclare again in the composition thing so we need to use the setup what is the use of things so if we use the setup there is no need to use the uh, we need to there is no need for us to mention the return return object and also the setup method here i will be mentioning constant employees equal to this time we need to use it's a reactive and here this is an array right so we need to use it as an array like this now is employees present so this is the computer property here i can use constant is employees present is equal to so there is a method so computed method and this takes a callback function so like this and here you can use return employees dot length is there means then we will return yes or otherwise we will present it as no that's it so this is how we will be implementing the computer property now if you try to see here we are able to see the s value 
you have doubt you can also present you can also write something like this so that we can able to see here if i refresh it see we are able to see is then s computer so this is the main thing <clears throat> so this is the this is this is the logic so how we will be implementing all the time what you need to do is so this uh, computed value we should be used it as a read only property only that means it should be used only get a function okay so but sometimes will be something sometimes will be there so when you will be right, trying to use it as a writable thing. So, uh, we so i told you right so the computed value always it will be an read only property for example if i try to change the value is employees present dot value so, so here what i want to tell you is the computer property the property which you are able to get it is always will be a ref thing okay it's not a reactive it's a ref thing so value is equal to and if i change it something like uh, not present or anything so if i am trying to change the value so this this one is a read only property i told you right but i am trying to write something so whether this one will be affected or not let's try to see it so here it is not affecting and also if you try to see it in the console we are able to see a runtime warning write operation failed so computed value is used as only read only so like this you will be having so <clears throat> computed property always it should be used as read only it should you should not mutate the computer property but there will be some scenario so in rare cases so you want to you want to have a writable computer property then in that scenarios you need to use it provided using a getter and setter methods how can we use it let's try to see it let's say we am having a first name i am using this ref of leela and i am having constant last name is equal to ref so we need to import the ref here so this is our first name and last name so i want to show the full name here so here at the here do full name name is equal to so here i need to show the full name which is a computed property so here for showing this computed property full name constant full name sorry full name is equal to computed of and here i can write something like return first name dot value plus and here i can write first name dot sorry last name right last name dot value so this is how you will be using the computed thing so fine so let's see the output how it will come so what is the error we are having constant full name is equal to computed we are able to get it so do full name and we need to close the due that is a problem yeah now if you see the output i am able to see the output what it is happening yeah here we are able to see the lila web dev fine it's working now i want to make this one as a writable computer property how can i make it is so we need to mention the getter and setter methods so get and also another one is set so by setting you will be having a new value okay so like this will be having now get method so you can simply return first name dot value so same thing plus and i can use the last name dot value so this is the getter property and for the set setter property what you can do is so we can use something like destructuring the array first name dot value we need to assign and last name dot value is equal to so full name whatever the full name you are getting or otherwise you need to take the new value not the full name new value dot split of it is space that's it split will return you an array and it will be assigned like this now whenever you are trying to change it so full name so if you try to see here you will be able to see the same output leela web dev, not a problem now here at the bottom somewhere i want to change full name dot value is equal to hi leela that means what it will have so whenever you are trying to call it with the hi leela immediately the setter function will be executed and in this setter method so it will try to split it and the first name and last name value will be updated accordingly now when this update first name last name is executed so getter function will execute and it will try to use it so now if you try to see the output so here we will be able to see the hi lila so like this we need to we will be using this getter value in the so writable computer property so always what you need to do is avoid mutating the computed value so the how we have used it right so we should not avoid it mutating the computed value so think of this one is a temporary snapshot so this is all about the computed thing 
and another thing what i want to show you is the for example let's say that uh, here in our project in our counter thing if you try to see here in our uh, counter dot view here i want to show that at the bottom so here i want to show uh, the counter value is odd or even so i need to show it odd or even so how can i show here so using the computer property if i try to write here constant rather it's at the top only i'll write right here constant odd or even is equal to it's a computed and here we will try you will implement computed and in this one i have been writing this one as written counter data counter data dot count mod 2 mod 2 is equal to, is equal to 0 then even or otherwise it's an odd that's it finish <clears throat> if you see the output what will happen so here if i try to plus so see it is changing odd even odd even so like this depending on the value this counted computed property will be automatically changing so this is all about the computer property hope you understood about this computer property in the composition api if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you